Somebody asked me, what are you going to do with these things? I have a special. I go, I'm just trying to stay interested in life. That's all I'm trying to do. <laughs> you know, trying to, you, know, you want to be a special, get my own series. You know, they're looking for 64-year-olds for a series. That's what <laughs> but I, 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 do, I did know that it didn't matter because my parents didn't approve. It didn't matter. It did not matter to me. I went to New York City gladly, happily. I pursued it. I was all in, completely doing it all the time. And I couldn't understand people who weren't. I remember I met this young guy, and again, I was young guy, I was 24, I moved up to New York City, and I met this guy, and he was, he was in college, and he, was, and he came to the improvisation, and he said, I can get you college gigs. I'm, I, I book colleges, I, I know all the guys that book the colleges, the university, uh, New York University system, the SUNY system. He said, I can get you colleges, and so, fantastic. So he started getting his college, he says, I wanna do comedy too. And I said, yeah, good, good, good. And he'd be like the opener. And, and, and my ex-wife and I, Carol Liefer and Steve Middleman, and I'd rotate other comics and we'd go work all these SUNY Binghamton, all these colleges and we were doing, he was getting them. And he'd come and hang out with us in down where I lived in Lower East Village. And it was like a really funky place that I had. And he'd come hang out. And I had a sense that he had money. And then one day he said, you got it. He said, um, I got the rental car. He said, pick me up on the way. He'd usually come in the, t in the Manhattan and so I'm up in the Westchester County. I've never been there before. And we drive up to his place. And again, this is a circular drive. It was a, a, a quarter mile lap circular drive. <laughs> I, I'd never been to a house that was on this much land. You know, this was the driveway. We drive in the place. And then we were greeted at the door by uniformed servants. There were uniformed servants. And I was like, just impressed. We go into his room. And I had this funky little stereo. He had like this bang and Olufsen. This is a college kid. He had a refrigerator in his room, like, like a refrigerator in his room. He had like just money. I just sent money everywhere. And he said, and he, he finally opened up and he said, uh, we were driving. He said, you know, my parents, they want me to go to my dad's business. He never said what his dad's business was, but you knew it was something. It was something. He said, they expect me to graduate and go into my dad's business. And they said, if I do that, they'd buy me a brand new BMW. And I was kind of like, what's a BMW? <laughs> A BMW, what's a BMW? It's like, oh, it's a German car. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. I, that's how, like, blue car, I was, like, completely lost. I didn't even, he says, yeah, they'll buy me a brand new, and I said, like, yeah, okay. I go, why would he even consider that? I mean, I wouldn't even, it wasn't even a thought, like, you're gonna do comedy, you're gonna do comedy, you're not gonna do anything else. And he says, yeah, my, my parents are really, really fighting. I feel guilty even doing this. I should be studying just to graduate. And then one day, he had me come pick him up, and we pulled into the driveway, and we're sitting waiting for him to come out, and his mother came out first. And his mother came out, and again, this is the middle of the day, and it was like, all I could think was June Cleaver. I know this is an old reference, but I mean, literally, pearls, evening dress, daytime, made up. She came out, she walked in front of the car, just stood there and looked at us for a second, just <laughs> stared at us, man. I was like, what is she doing? She just stared at us. She walked over to the door and waited for me to roll down the window, and she says, Danny will not be a comedian, and walked back in the house. <laughs> And Danny never came out of the house, man. And never heard from him again. You know, I mean, he, he broke, he broke. You know, they broke him, whatever it was. He was gonna go do, be in dad's company. That's what my friend Kevin Rooney did a song, basically a song parody. I remember, remember this song called Bad Company by a group in the 70s called Bad Company. He wrote this whole parody. I'm working for dun, 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 dad's company till the day I die. And we, we just sang that all the way to the gig and never thought about him again. <laughs> you're out, you're out.